Hi, this is Dr. Mario Torres Leon, inventor of Freedom Belt and founder of Global Medical Innovations. I want to thank Mr. Ken Theriot, the founder of livingwithacatheter.com blog, for inviting me as a physician, as an interventional radiologist, to share with you some tips about how to live with a catheter. The next tip that I'm giving you is the following. If you do not have a suspension system, such as the one that I invented, Freedom Belt, that allows you to carry your bag in a customized and easy way, you probably are using the typical way, which is a drainage bag that has the straps. One of the really important things to do here is that if you're using the strapping system, be very, very careful and judicious on how tight you put this around your legs. Why is that? Because if it's really, really tight, you can decrease the amount of circulation that is going down to your feet. And that could cause all the problems which I have seen in hospitals. It can cut your circulation and now, on top of having a catheter, you may have to go to the emergency room for an urgent surgery to be able to reestablish blood flow into your extremity. So when you're using your bags that have the straps, you have to do it in a way that is snug, but if you notice that the straps are marking your skin and blanching your skin, it probably is too tight. So keep an eye on that and be very careful with the tension. Alternatively, which is my method of choice, I would go to Freedom Belt. Freedom Belt allows you to carry your bag in a completely different way, much more comfortably, and you're not gonna have that kind of situation. If you don't know about Freedom Belt, I invite you to go to freedombelt.com to take a look at it. This is Dr. Mario Torres Leon, inventor of freedombelt.com, and also the founder of Global Medical Innovation, saying to Mr. Ken Theria, thank you for allowing me to be part of this community and share this insightful tips and we look forward to your questions and more tips coming up. Thank you. Yeah.